Hello you nerdigans, this is the one and only Packer Girl 89 Today's manga nerdigan live reaction video is going to be for Gleipnir chapter 55. So, last chapter we saw uh, Shuichi and Yoshioka fuse, and um, Yoshioka mentioned that she feels stronger this time around, and it's because obviously Shuichi has gained more um, experience. So, yeah. And um, we're going, going through the memories. Hopefully we find something important there uh, in their this time. Um, but also I want to point out something about Claire, because Claire's getting all pissy about this shit. But, um, I think the reason why Claire hasn't had that true fusion yet with Shuichi, like Yoshioka has, is because her power hasn't awakened. Because I keep thinking back to what Kaido said. And what Kaido said, um, Wow, a long ass time ago, or when they faced Kaido, uh, was that Kaido called Claire a demon. Just watch. When we see Claire become a demon, that's when shit is gonna get real. Um, and we'll see a, few, a very, very interesting fusion. Anyway, let's get to this chapter, see what's in store for us today. The story that began with its transforma transformation reaches its climax. Wait, what? Uh, the origin of the, uh, the tragedy is in those lost memories. Shuichi and Sh uh, Claire decide to fight Elena to recover the past. The threads of love and hate are intertwined. Who will, who will they end up tying? Ooh. Here we go. Um, I'll say it just in case. Not that I can directly see Shuichi Kun's deleted memories. I can only see the shadows that were left after they erased. What? <sighs> I guess that's understandable. It can never be that easy. Oh, well. And imagine on the basis of those shadows, uh, their original shape. I, I understand. Do it. Again, it's never that easy. All right, so chapter 55 is titled The Weight of Life. All this time I've been looking, the memories of a distant day that were within my reach. God, I love this art so much. Oh, God. Here we go. This is my past? I'm seeing my memories through, Yoshi through Yoshioka? Oh, sorry. I'm seeing my memories through Yoshioka-san? Dude, I love this. I love this art. It's true when I was a kid I went to tutoring. Um, the school uh, was called Yamada. I met Elena there. Aww. Why couldn't I remember something so simple? It's not that. It's not that. I couldn't even try to remember it. It's probably uh, because of Elena-san's power. Let's go further. This art. This art. Kaido's acting funny. shioka san who is this person? I don't know, since he's not a person that you or I have ever met af after uh, your memory was erased. Um, oh my god, we're gonna shit. I don't know, since he's not a person that you or I have ever met after your memory was erased. So it's not clear that, uh, so it's not that clear to me. He, uh, he said that he was the one who killed Hanoka. Yeah! You know about that. It started with Aiko's suicide. Um, when he found out, Hanoka asked the alien for help and became Aiko. And then Kaido can killed Hanoka-san? That's what he said. He didn't know Aiko had killed herself. He had, he thought Hanoka had killed her. And what's Kaido Kun doing now? Oh no, I haven't been able to contact him since. We must look for him. We can't just let him go. Kaido Kun is a serious person with a strong sense of justice. If we leave him alone and something happens to him too, what do we do if we run into him? What could we do even if we met him now? We're just high school students. We can't do anything about aliens and killers. To be honest, I already, even uh, even so, we can't leave Kaido Kun alone. We, we are friends, right? You're right. I'm sorry. I'll try to go to uh, Kaido's house again. Uh, Let's split up and look for him. 
I feel like all we need is Scooby Doo, but this is too this is too nightmarish of a of, of a series for Scooby Doo. I have I have remembered it I've remembered it little by little. That's I knew Elena's son before. She and I she and I were there. And in that place Oh, there's Kaido. Yoshioka san, um, further on further on. It's been a month. It seems that uh Nado Ken couldn't find him either. It seems that not only is Kaido Ken not in the house, but there's no but there's no one. Elena san. I want to meet the alien again. No, it's too dangerous! Hanoka-san died because we ignored the alien's warning. We don't know what he'll do if we go to see him. kaido -kan is smart. At first, I was also worried uh, that he would kill himself out of guilt. But kaido -kan wouldn't do something that this silly. kaido -kan would do something else. Oh, yes, he will. Speaking of... kaido -kan. It can't be. How? Hanoka-san. That's... Noka. I asked the alien for a favor and got power. I thought in my own way about uh, how to atone for my sin. So I made him uh, revive Hinoka. Did she re... Did she relive? Or... Oh, damn it! Whoever translated it, this, she didn't... They didn't fucking do this right. This is a typo. It, it should be, did she revive? That's what this should be. I'm gonna read it the right way. Did she revive? Dude, that fucking look on Kaido's face is just, ugh. I'm gonna say this, because this has been bothering me for the longest time. It's still bothering me. People are still, they're, um, when the Gleipnir anime uh, adaptation was out, people have been calling this shit a trash uh, series. This is such a misunderstood fucking series. I don't get it. Why are, ugh. People are saying this is trash and misunderstood, uh, a trash series. This is, like, the series is very, um, the best way to describe the series, it's very avant-garde and abstract. And it goes over a lot of people's heads. I just don't, ugh. It's just so frustrating. It's like, Hell's, in a way, it's a lot like Hell's Par Paradise Jika Karaku. That's why I compare this manga to Hell's Paradise Jika Karaku a lot. Because this manga, because uh, just like Hell's Paradise Jika Karaku, it's very abstract and avant-garde. So you're either gonna like it or hate it. Um, but... Man, I hate when people call this manga trash. It, it, it's just, it's, this manga, I would say this one is more misunderstood than Hell's Paradise Shika Karaku is. But, God, I hate when people call this manga trash, because it's not. It's not, it's just, they don't, uh, they don't get it. Ugh. Uh, yes, and this manga is definitely a niche series for being abstract and avant-garde. Fuckers. Fucking uncultured swine don't get it. Sorry, I had to get it off my chest because that's been bothering me for a while. I know that the weight of uh, a life is is not at all light. Wait, well, slash it. I know that the weight of a life is not at all light. The alien told me that I had to collect 100 coins to get that power. I may have said it in the sense that it, it's an impossible thing, but I gathered them. I went to the mountain and crawled there for days. I finally found the spaceship. What are you saying? What's with the coins in the spaceship? But there was still a problem. There was no physical body for Hanoka. Uh, her body was cremated as if it were Aiko's. The only thing left was a few bones and the hair that was left on the rope I used to kill her. For the missing part, I used my parents' bodies. What? Dude, this is fucked up. I, I had to use several people, but I managed to re revive a person. So it's logical that there had to be so many sacrifices. Dude. I feel like, I feel like that this is going into, this is full metal alchemist territory here. Oh God. Anyone else getting that, um, for those of you that have read full metal alchemist manga slash watch brotherhood. More so read the manga than Brother, because, man, the manga is way, way more fucked up. The anime captured a lot of the fucked upness in the manga, but, man, I, I, I um, read the manga for the first time uh, a few months ago. Because I was like, you know what, I gotta, I gotta re finally just say fuck it and read some of, the, some of these mangas I've never read. Um, that I've, I've been an anime only for for a long time. And I read it, and it's just like, oh my god. 
that ma oh, that manga is really fucked up. This oh god, this really makes and it I, already made me think of um what, what Kaido Kam is doing really made me think of Full Metal Alchemist. But holy shit, this is making me think of Full Metal Alchemist. The centipede though, god, there's another um series that really makes me think of the centipede as well. God, I can't think of it off the top of my head. There's another series that uses that centipede. Yes, I know there's the spider for um, Naraku, which is very does something similar, but it was demons, not um, not humans. God, which one was this freaking centipede? It's not berserk. God, which one was the fucking centipede? God, it's really pissing me off. I can't remember. Now I remember it's Tokyo Ghoul. That's the series I was thinking of. Tokyo Ghoul does it. That, oh God, it's been a long time since I've read, uh, since I covered slash read Tokyo Ghoul. Because that manga, that series, uh, well, Tokyo Ghoul Re, Tokyo Ghoul slash Tokyo Ghoul Re ended like long ass time ago. That's the series I was thinking of. It was Tokyo Ghoul. Ha, huh, I knew there was a series that used a centipede as a symbol. That's what this, this, this is what it's making me think of, this fucking Tokyo Ghoul. Uh, Kaido-kun, Shuichi-kun, look at the people in the city. They have something strange. Hanoka did it. Uh, the Hogan, Hanoka that revived is a little different from how she was. Hanoka hates this world. She hates this world. You know what? I gotta, I gotta say this right now. You know, uh, speaking of Tokyo Ghoul. I just fucking, I, I don't, I, I took the centipede, just remembering what the centipede symbol um, were, was from, and I should have realized this fucking sooner. I don't know why it took me this long to just realize it. You know who Hanoka is? I don't know if anyone else um, is thinking the same thing that I have or realized it sooner, but Hanoka is Rize. Let's be real. Hanoka is the fucking Rize of this series. She totally is. She is goddamn Rize. She fucking is. Oh my god, she totally is fucking Rize. She freaking is Rize. Oh my god, she's Rize. This is so insane. Gotta wonder if that's... I, I'm gonna... You know what? I got the Magaka's Twitter. I'm gonna ask if that's the case. If the, if uh, Hanoka is supposed to be Rize. And, um, and if the centipede was... Uh, inspiration was... Uh, um, from Tokyo Ghoul. Would that, in that case, would that mean Kaido is, uh, Barada? Kaido's not as much of an, uh, as an asshole, well, Kaido is kind of trolling like Barada. B is not as much of a troll as Barada is in, um, in Tokyo Ghoul. But, yeah, there's a lot of simil- Dude, there's a lot of similarities going on in Tokyo Ghoul. Uh, the, um, in Gleet near that, uh, that's from Tokyo Ghoul. Holy shit! I don't know why I didn't realize this sooner! Oh my god! She hates this world. Uh, hates this world that didn't need her. This is fucking Rize! Oh my god, this is Rize! Shuichi! I've, Shuichi, I've reached a point from which I cannot return. Ooh. Kaido cut! Dude! The snap! Hanoka! Hanoka did the snap! She did the snap! Shuichikana, I ain't feeling so good. But dude! This was this was the same thing in Tokyo Ghoul. Hold on, I'm gonna finish this chapter and I'll explain. Shuichi! Oh my god! Can you stop, Shuichi Khan? Or sorry, Shuichi, can you stop me? There are more and more things that cannot be recovered. Uh, which way will Shuichi find to save them? Okay. This is so, this is so fucking like, to this is totally Tokyo Ghoul! Holy shit, this is so much like Tokyo Ghoul! Um, what I say Shuichi is like, uh, like a Kaneki like character. Main character wise, we're talking main characters. Nah, this is nah. 
No, th th it's not like Tokyo Ghoul like that. Um, to ex you could. I'm curious if you guys think so. Let me know in the comment section if if like Shuichi and them are like uh, like Kaneki. To, if you want to talk about the group as a whole, then yes, I you could compare them to like uh, to um, to Kaneki and them. Yes, you can you can kind of say that they are because they are going up against um, against the villains and shit like that. Uh, and they are a bunch of misfits. Sure, you can make that argument. But if we're looking at Kaido and uh, and Hanoka and shit, oh god, Hanoka is totally, totally like Rize. She is so much like Rize. Um, and I'm not talking about like uh, from from the begin from you know like Rize's character from the beginning. No, I'm talking about like you know, af post Rize after she died. Um, and also, and like, also Rize's, uh, character in relation to, um, to Farada. Because remember, Farada was like in hella in love with Rize, and he was doing all, he was doing everything he could to bring her back to life. Um, and when we saw Rize and Ri, I'm sorry, I'm spoiling Tokyo Ghoul, but motherfucker, you should have been, Re you should have been done with this manga by now. But, um, when we saw Rize and Ri, and we saw how she was being revived, and we saw how much new, how much she was, uh, all the life she was absorbing to, uh, to revive. And then Centipedes, yeah! Dude, Hanoka is fucking Rize. She's not as monstrous, well, on uh, the outside she ain't as monstrous as Rize was. No. But, on the inside, oh fuck yeah she is. Oh god, she is totally Rize. But, um, but then we gotta, uh, then we gotta wonder. Would, is Kaido like Farada then? Yeah, Kaido in a way is a lot like Farada in terms of motivation. Sure, he totally is. Um, he, is he a psycho as Farada? Oh god damn straight he is. He is fucking psycho as hell. Oh man, shit is gonna get very, very interesting. But it, like, when it comes to like, uh, he's not like, um, in terms of like, uh, um, of Farada as like, you know, what his role, I'm talking about like bare bones, his role in, Farada's role in, uh, in Tokyo Ghoul Re. What he was doing and shit. He's trying to get Rize, destroy everything. That's what Kaido is doing up in here. Um, and he is, and, and also, you know, what they were also doing in section, uh, what, what, uh, what Farada was doing on the download, turning motherfuckers into ghouls. Uh, so yeah, there's that. But yeah. For sure, this motherfucker, Kaido is fucking Farada. He's not, he doesn't have, like, the outward psychoness that, like, he's not, you know, as, uh, he's not, um, uh, he's more keeping his psycho personality on the down low because he has this calm-ass demeanor most of the time. And, yeah, you can make the argument Farada did, too, until it, it really needed to come out. But, uh, but, yeah, Kaido is so fucking Farada. He is totally Farada. He is. And, and uh, Hanoka is totally Rize. She is friggin' Rize. She's goddamn Rize. Oh, God, she is. But I'm really curious what um, you guys think of this chapter. This chapter is so interesting. Oh, gosh. I'm very curious what you... Oh, God, what, what, what Kaido did is so fucked up. But the thing is... Is you gotta wonder is what um that and this brings up the question then I gotta bring up this question is something that um is this is something that Kaido as um mentioned when we fought him he, why did Kaido want Hino um not want Hinoka Hinoka's body to see um to see Shuichi and I think. Based on this chapter, I still, I feel like we don't know. I, I feel like we don't, there's still more to it. There's still more to it than we know. There has to be. I'm really 
curious what you guys think the what do you guys what do you guys think the, based on this chapter do you think we have the motivation of why um kaido uh hit hinoka do you think it has something to do with shuichi's memories do you think it has something to do with uh uh, Shuichi's true power. Do you think it, or do you think it has some more to do with Claire? That's what I'm curious about. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below, or and remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Nerdigans Inc. If you love what I'm doing and want to help keep this channel alive, so I can keep bringing you more Gleepnir content, there's a few ways you could do that. You could donate to my Cash App, PayPal, Patreon, GoFundMe, purchase something on my Amazon wish list. All that's in the description box below. Also, make sure you follow me on Twitter, Twitch, Facebook, from me on PlayStation Network. That's in the description box below as well. Till next time, Nerdigans. I'll be seeing you later. Bye.